what is Kalman filter and why do we use it? Target tracking is often difficult due to noise and the measurement. So system need to filter out this type of noise to predict the true path and position of a target. Tra target tracking is often difficult due to noise and measurement. So system need to filter out this noise to predict the true path and the position of the target. The word filter here is used because the estimator tries to remove the noise and measurement or data as much as possible given the mean and variance of the noise. So Kalman filter is an optimal estimator which minimizes the mean square error of parameter being estimated if the noise is Gaussian. So Kalman filter is an optical estimator. Optical estimator means that if the noise have a Gaussian probability density function or PDF, it minimizes the mean square error of the parameter being estimated in an optical sense. It is recursive. Recursive means that we do not need complete batch of data to estimate our parameter. Thus, any measurement is processed as it arrives. It is easy to understand and implement and has a very simple structure. So, it is also the best linear estimator. The Kalman filter consists of two parts, the prediction part and the estimation part. So in the prediction part we have two equations xk given k minus 1 equal to fk x of k minus 1 given k minus 1 plus v of k. Similarly p of k given k minus 1 equal to f of k and p of k minus 1 given k minus 1 f of k transpose plus qk. Similarly, we have four equation in the estimation part. So, the vector x and the prediction part represent the state vector and consist of quantity being estimated. For example, in case of the target tracking, it can be a position, velocity, or position and velocity, or position, velocity, and acceleration of a target. Usually, it is n cross 1 vector. The subscript k denotes the current time, so the state with the subscript xk given k minus 1 means that the state vector at time k given the information at time k minus 1, you can easily guess what does xk given k mean. xk given k minus 1 is called a priori state or the predicted state. Since it uses the state at a previous time to compute the output at a current time. Whereas xk given k is called the post priori state or the estimated state. The vector fk is called the state transaction matrix and is used to propagate the state. Vk denotes the process nice and follows the Gaussian distribution. It is defined by mean and the certain variance. The n cross n matrix qk is known as the process nice covariance matrix and as evidence evident by its name defined the process nice. The vector vk has the same dimension as that of the state vector. The state covariance matrix is denoted by p whereas the subscript have the same meaning as defined earlier for the state vector x. So the predicted or the priori state covariance matrix is represented by the pk given k minus 1. And the post priori or the estimated state covariance matrix is represented by the PK given K. The innovation covariance matrix is denoted by S and the matrix H is called the observation matrix. We will get an idea about it in the example. So the next state involves calculating the optical uh, the optimal Kalman gain K, which in turn is used. And the next step to update the state and obtain our estimated state. The last equation is used to calculate the estimated state covariance matrix where I represent the identity matrix. So now we will see the example of Kalman filter and the MATLAB. So, so the target is moving in the XYZ plane, velocity of the target as 7 meter per second along the x-axis and 7 meter per second along the y-axis. 
and 0 meter per second along the z axis starting point along the x axis is 15 meter along the y axis is also 15 meter and 200 meter along the z axis we will consider the sampling time as, uh, as 0 0.01 second and total time will be 7 second the mean and standard deviation of measured nice is 0 and 1.2 so first of all we need to define the state vector and the state transition matrix so the state vector will be 6 gram 6 cross 1 having x position y position and z position with x velocity y velocity and z velocity the state transition matrix will be i3 where i is the identity matrix of 3 by 3 ti3 and oi3 o3 o3 is the 3 by 3 zero matrix and again i3 so h is the measurement state matrix and can be defined as h equal to this matrix will be 6 cross 6 as we know that uh, variance is 1.2 so measurement covariance matrix can be expressed as 1.4000 basically 1.44 is the square of the sigma or the variance so we will assume that process nice vk equal to 0 so xk given k uh, and p k given k can be calculated from the prediction part similarly the covariance kalman gain state estimation and estimated state covariance can be calculated from the estimation part so here is the matlab code of the kalman filter we have a uh, sampling time equal to 0.1 second total time is 7 second and the mean is 0 with standard deviation 1.2 so we have six states x position y position and z position similarly x velocity y velocity and z velocity the initial positions is 15 along x axis 15 meter along y axis and 200 meter along the z axis similarly the initial velocity is 7 along the x axis 7 meter along the y axis and 0 meter per second along the z axis okay so similarly we have uh, we will run the code up to 500 runs and then average the all results to remove to remove or to minimize the variations so here is the 3D trajectory of the true position, measured position and the estimated position. Similarly, this is the target position along the x-axis, the target position, measured position and the estimated position. And this one is the target position along the y-axis, target position along the z-axis and this is the target velocity along the x-axis target velocity along the y-axis and target velocity along the z-axis but the main thing in the Kalman filter is to minimize the mean square error of the position and the velocity so from this figure we can see that with respect to time the mean square error of the position and the mean square error of the velocity has been decreased I already have mentioned the link of the code in the description. You can download the code and enjoy. Thank you.